the builder. Can we fix it? Bob the builder. Yes, we can. Scoop, Muck and Dizzy and Lofty too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can, oh strike a light streak with just kids you struck me there, I've just better turn this to, oh there you go, oh, well g'day kids, it's Bernard here, I was just having a bit of a study break, just like I was working on next week's sermon, I thought I better just have some time just to relax, work the vocal cords, what better way to do that than by singing a song that I heard on holidays recently, I even got to see the cartoon. It's a song you boys and girls might be familiar with, Bob the Builder. Gee, that Bob, he's a pretty impressive bloke, isn't he? It'd be good to have around. He seems to be able to fix any problem. When he and his mates get together, they are able to fix any problem. They can build everything from a sandpit to a big skyscraper right through to a straw bale house. Bob the Builder seems able to fix any problem. But it also got me thinking as I was having my study break and I was reading through the passage that Mr. Hunt's about to speak on from the book of Colossians, Colossians chapter 1, 15 to 23, got me thinking, there's one problem that Bob can't fix. It's a problem you have. It's a problem I have. It's a problem mum and dads have. It's a problem brothers and sisters have. It's a problem every human being has. I think you know what that problem is, don't you? That problem is the problem of sin. Now, we've talked about sin at church, haven't we? Sin's the attitude and action that says, I'm God and God's not. Sin has I in the middle of the universe and God can just go away. Sin's a problem for people who are big and for people who are little. Sin's a problem for people who are old and people who are young. Sin's a problem we all have. And I don't think Bob can fix it. You see, sin is between me and you and, and God. Sin's committed against God. Sin is when we tell God to go away because we can do a better job than God. So who's going to fix our problem of sin? It's not going to be Bob. Who can fix it? Well, let me read to you some verses from today's passage that tell us who can fix our problem of sin. Colossians chapter 1, verse 15 and verse 19. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile everything to himself. By making peace through the blood of his cross, whether things on earth or things in heaven. Well, boys and girls, if our sin's going to be dealt with, then only God can deal with it, because sin is against God. And there's only one person who has ever existed who is God, who walked around on this earth who is God. And we just heard about him. It's Jesus. Jesus is able to fix our problem of sin because he is God. Bob the Builder's not going to fix it. Only Jesus can fix our problem of sin. Now it got me thinking. I thought, well, Mr. Hunt's pretty good at turning songs into new songs and using the Bible and Steve Bailey's a pretty good singer and pretty good on the guitar. And the whole Watt family are just magnificent when they get together. I thought, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to try and rewrite Bob the Builder songs and use some of the words from today's passage. And so I've got some words here that will help me sing along. And I want you to listen carefully to see if you can hear who is able to fix our problem of sin. Let's see if I can get this technology to work. Singing, 
Jesus Christ, can he fix it? Jesus Christ, yes he can. He is the image of God himself, the firstborn in all of the world. He has all God's fullness in him, dying for our sins we are forgiven. Jesus Christ, can he fix it? Jesus Christ, yes he can. Boys and girls, have a great day.